Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Angle Ball on the MSX. Now, I have reviewed it on the CPC, Commodore 64 and ZX Spectrum. Right, so... Now, I had to review it on the MSX just to see if it's actually a crap Spectrum port. I don't think it is. Well, sort of. It might well have been with the graphics, but we'll, we'll play it and we'll see. I've had a test run a bit. Now, for some reason, I can't get the joystick to work on this, so we're going to use keyboard, which is fine. Q8, OP, and space. Right, push to. It's already selected anyway, so got a few different um, options here. One player, two player, player versus computer. You can create your own... Um, while well, placing the balls on the table, I think that's what it is. So you basically can play. Yeah, basically that's what you do, I think. Right, we've done that. So we're going to push three and start the game. Six. So novice. Type in my name. So it does look similar to the Spectrum version. But I, d it ain't a l I don't think it's a lazy pull. Right, so once you do that, no, we don't want no spin. So, <laughs> so we got the Amstrad CPC um, sound effects, I think, with that Nintendo sounding thing. Now, it's definitely not as port of the CPC, because that does look nice. And it, the, it does look similar to the Spectrum version. But... It's not a shitty pull. It moves quite smoothly. So this would have been a budget title. Hang on, I'll push space. Alright, okay. Oh shit, did I... Oh no! Oh, that just touched. Got all. So now the computer's having a go. Right, here we go. Right, maybe. I don't know, maybe I can get the number four in. And I. Oh, just touched it. So, yeah, it, it definitely plays fine here on the MSX. It, it basically looks like the Spectrum version without the colour clash. It moves quite smoothly. So yeah, yeah it's a, it's done a good job here on the MSX. Now I do prefer the CPC version. Because I just found it... It, it was the only version out of the four that looks a little bit different. The table does look a little bit different, where this looks pretty much the same as the Spectrum and the Commodore 64 version. Well done, I have won that frame. Right, so we go on to the next frame. So the computer starts and completely fucking misses. Right. Yeah, so it's... Well, I've... You can see it's not just a shitty Spectrum port. It looks like the Spectrum version, but, you know, they've done a good job here. They've done a good job. I'm on it. I honestly thought it was going to be a shitty Spectrum port, but I've actually done a good job here. So, yeah, budget title for the MSX, yep, definitely well worth it. Two ninety nine. I'm guessing it would have cost back in the day for the MSX if it was on cassette. Right, 
a little bit slower, but it's smoother. It does. It is quite smooth. I'd say the Commodore 64 version was the fastest version, but it, it definitely looked the worst <laughs> out of a lot of them. It just looked too bland. You know, they made an effort. They've definitely made an effort here on the MSX. Fuck it. Right, what's happened? Who won that? I won that round. Right, or the frame. So I think you get... A um, a certain amount of shots. I don't want to get the black in. I don't know. Let's go for this. Maybe I can tip that in. I doubt it. A bit ambitious. Let's give it a little bit of spin. Oh! Oh, I've done it. <laughs> well, that's good. Let's see if I can do that again, which I doubt. Or maybe try it here. See what if I can do this. Doubt it. Oh, I fucking missed it. Bastard. Well, oh, what's the computer going to do? No. Oh, it's got it. Is it? No. Nope. Go on. Ah, shit. Alright, so computer's turn. Still thinking. Still thinking. Oh, here he goes. Alright. Ah, fuck. Well, maybe I can get that one ball in, perhaps. Perhaps. Go on, yes. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, so basically, yeah, it, it is definitely playable on the MSX. So there's no real, but there's no real bad version of this game. I only come out on four systems. There's no real bad version of it. Right, so that's that frame done. So I won that frame. We'll do one more frame and then we'll call it. Because it just it just randomly places the ball. Well, I think it's fixed on each um, frame, but it just different. You can just they just place the balls differently each time, and I think you can on the when you can make your you can do that yourself as well. Place the balls wherever you want. Go on. Ah, shit. All right. So computer thinking. Thor. That's the computer's name. Thor. Right. I'll cut that blue in. I wonder. Or a free ball. Fuck hell. Right. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Let's 
Come on. Yeah. Don't know what else to say now. <laughs> Running out of things to say. I have reviewed this. This is the fourth time I have reviewed this game. Um, well, when I say that, I have reviewed it on the other system, so not a lot else to say, really. <laughs> Apart from, yeah, it's playable. It's definitely a playable version. I'm just surprised. I think it is using some sort of port from the, maybe the Spectrum. It does look quite similar, but they have, it seems like they have optimised it for the MSX. It's not one of those shitty fucking ports. And they didn't bother to optimise it. So they have optimised it. It's a tie. No one wins. Right, I think we'll leave it there. Yeah, it's, it's a playable version for the MSX. Um, it's a little bit slow, but that's fine. It's playable. It looks, it looks fine. Yeah, it plays fine. Anyway, going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.